My name is Michael Simone Williams and I'm a finalist in this year's Miss Universe Jamaica pageant. I proudly wear the sash, Miss Corey. How has the pandemic affected me? Whew. Well, when the virus was just detected in Jamaica, I was living on hall at the University of the West Indies and one of my parents had just found out that they were in contact with someone who tested positive for the virus. And this meant that I couldn't go home and share my thoughts and my fears about what was going on in the, in the world and just recently in my country. And I couldn't see my friends anymore and I'm a big hugger. So usually when I see my friends, I you know reach out to hug them and I can't anymore. So when I see them, it's like, hi. And then I pull my hands back because I remember I can't really come that close to you and just kind of <laughs> do an awkward wave from across the street or something. So that's been very hard on me, but you know, once I got home and kind of got used to being by myself, I got the chance to catch up on some stuff that I wouldn't have gotten the chance to if I was able to go on the road more frequently. So I taught myself how to braid my hair. I caught up on baking, so I baked a lot of Christmas cakes with my stepmom. I also did get to catch up on my reading and read some books that I always had on my list and just never got around to reading. So the kite runner, 10 out of 10. I also got a chance to catch up on some series and do some long awaited binge watching. So that was a really good experience. But you know, when we're thinking about the positives and negatives of coronavirus, it's important for us to remember those of us who have been extremely adversely affected by the virus and who may have suffered loss or who may be currently going through physical, mental or emotional challenges because of the virus or because they know someone who had contracted the virus. So if we want to get from under this virus, if we want to go back to some sense of normalcy, it's important for us to all follow protocol and work together so that we can get back to the way we want things as soon as possible. So let's all do our best and maybe in 10 to 25. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> as soon as possible. Let's just all do our best and hope for the best. In our rap session today, the things that make you feel insecure and the things that you look at and feel like make, make you unworthy or the things that people tease you about or make you feel like you are less than, these are the things that make you unique. Every bit of you, your skin color, your hair type, your face structure, your body shape, your height, anything of you that people comment on or that you yourself look in the mirror and feel like, I wonder if it's, this doesn't make me enough. Think about it, look in the mirror and ask yourself, I wonder if this is the thing that is going to make me get to the next level. I wonder if this is the thing that's going to make me be the person that I want to be. I wonder if this is the thing that makes me genuinely me, the thing that I can embrace and I can turn into a powerful catalyst for myself. this year's Miss Universe Jamaica pageant. I proudly wear the sash, Miss Corey. I believe that to be confidently beautiful has everything to do with the person you are on the inside. Minus all the glitz and glamour and the hair and makeup, a confidently beautiful person has overcome many personal challenges and even self-doubt, and yet they manage to inspire and empower many people around them to be the best version of themselves. Because we all know that confidence is not a location, it's a journey. A confidently beautiful person is kind and gracious in the face of negativity. And notice I haven't said anything about physical attributes because I believe that true confidence and true beauty comes from within. Our beauty and our physical attributes do not define us. It is our kindness and our personality that do.
Hello, I am Michael Simone Williams and I am from the city of Kingston. I'm 23 years old and I'm an international model and student of the University of the West Indies. My major is marketing and my minor in psychology. I am extremely humbled and grateful to be chosen as a finalist for this year's Miss Universe Jamaica pageant. I aim to use this platform to bring awareness to the mental illnesses that children may be suffering from and that it presents differently so that they can get the help that they need. If we give children positive and supportive environments in which to grow, they will become better and more rounded adults and the future generations will surprise you.